Welcome to my channel. Thank you for tuning in and welcome to another video. Today I've got, as you can see, another Pagani design. And this one uh, it's not a new release or anything. Uh, it's a watch they've had out for a while. Um, but I just thought I'd get my hands on it and uh, do a quick review on it. This is my third Pagani watch that I've bought. Um, and I'm feeling the quality. The quality has been consistent. Um, there's nothing uh, of any of the Pagani's that I bought that has really thrown me off or put me off as such. So I'm just waiting on any new releases from Pagani themselves. Without further ado, let's get to it. So this is the box uh, that the watch came in. Um, and if you're familiar with Pagani design and if you've seen my previous videos, the packaging, you know, they do the same style. So I won't waste too much time on the packaging. You've got your cloth, you've got your box. Um, it is safely packed, well designed, well built box. Um, and they're sticking to it as well. There's the watch. So this is a Pagani Daytona homage. Chronograph. The model number is PD1644. Or as I mentioned, better known as the Daytona Chronograph. Due to it being a homage to the Rolex Daytona. As you can see, it is a pretty nice watch. Nice looking. So what are the specifications? Um, you've got a sapphire crystal, ceramic bezel, and the movement, it's a VK63 uh, mecha quartz movement. Now, if it's the first time that you're hearing about a mecha quartz movement, I'll uh, summarize it. So it's a hybrid movement, which is um, the, which is that you get the accuracy of a quartz watch and there's a um, mechanical module within there which ties together um, the second hand here the chronograph and it ties in the minute dial over here so they sort of move together whereas in your traditional quartz watches when your second hand rotates a full circle then you'll find the minute hand uh, will move once the second hand, second hand has gone past 12 whereas in this one um, it runs together so as that rotates so does the minute hand so you get a slight bit of mechanical movement in there but you've got the added benefit of the quartz accuracy which means it is battery powered so just a quick once over of the watch Yeah, so everything is pretty much the same as Pagani usually do. Uh, there are a lot of models that use this kind of bracelet. And this watch does have all the standard Pagani um, branding on the crown and the bracelet, etc. So let's go a little deeper and have a closer look at all the different aspects of this watch. It is a very sharp dial, clean, crisp writing, and you've got a combination of applied indices and prints on the dial. The hands are just standard chrome with slithers off loom applied in the middle there, across here and across there. Uh, straight away you can tell that the loom on this um, I'm assuming won't be fantastic um, and as we've seen on the previous Pagani models the loom isn't that great anyway and what you have on the dial you've got the Pagani logo Pagani design chronograph uh, with sport written across in red then you've got three smaller sub dials you've got a 24 hour dial here you've got your seconds dial here and you've also got a minute dial there. Everything is clean and crisp on the dial. At the bottom, you've got Japan movement due to the movement within the watch actually being Japanese. So it's not just written there. And you've got printed um, minute and seconds indices on around the dial. 
and you will see on the subdials you can notice this detail here you've got this pearlescent effect going around now i don't know how they've done that um, because what you have got you can see these lines these circular lines within the subdials but it does bring this awesome pearlescent effect it's great for looks aesthetics but for readability i don't think it's the best because if i just put it there you can't really see um on the sub dials where your hands are but aesthetically it's good looks really lovely and it gives a sparkle to the watch makes it stand out you've got a small date window here so as far as complications go, uh, you've got a chronograph. I so said you've got your 24-hour, minute and second, and you've got a date complication. So this watch gives you pretty much all you need. And zooming in on the indices. As I mentioned, applied indices. Nothing seems out of line, out of shape. Everything is where it is, as where it should be. A very clean dial. And I don't think it looks too busy as well. From Pagani, you do only have uh, two color options. You've got this white, and then you've got uh, the black dial with, I believe, the silver subdials. Now you can straight away tell um, there might be a slight issue on sort of visibility of the hands because they're, they're chrome, and you've got the subdials that shine away as well under certain angles you might not be able to see it um i'm not too sure how we look on the black dial but i don't think it's a major nine out of ten times you you should have good visibility moving on to the bezel is a ceramic bezel it doesn't rotate Nice finish on there. Let's give it a quick clean. Yeah, so there's a nice finish on there. No blemishes, inclusions, etc. Okay, if we move on to the body of the watch the case around the sides you've got a high polish you've got two chronograph pushes with the knurled screw down ring so these twist down and that locks in the chronograph buttons we also got an old crown with the Pagani logo. The difference I can see between these two is you've got a bit of blue, um, maybe protective tape on the one pusher, but nothing on the second. The crown does screw out, which is a nice touch. I just noticed my nail was dirty. Apologies for anyone that finds that disgusting. Um, I've been working today in the garden, so allow me. So on the sides of the case, you do have this high polished surface. Let's peel some of this sticker off. Yeah, very high polished. And you find this across uh, the previous watches that I have reviewed. So you've got um, the Submariner homage and the Tag homage as well. They have a very good uh, consistent workmanship on the steel. Very high polishes, very clean, no sharp edges. So the quality is up there.
it is quite a low profile watch low profile case i'll get into measurements um shortly let's have a look at the crystal crystal is fairly level it sits as flush as, as it is going to sit so let's just test the functionality so as i mentioned this is a mecha quartz watch so top pusher as with uh, many chronographs just press it in okay that didn't go in so if you've got to press this okay till you hear it engage nice audible click let's leave that running so we can see the mini hand move simultaneously with the second hand okay so moving on um the crown good decent feel is a nice size crown some of these watches because it is a smaller watch you know you get the crowns that uh, are a bit small so it's difficult to get fingers around uh, fingers around them but this one's a, a decent size click it out once and you've got the date adjustment at the bottom very smooth snappy it's got a good feel to it it is a good quality um, crown there's no roughness grittiness when you turn it so let's go back to this chronograph second hand as you can see the dial there as this rotates past the 12 that is moving the whole time so it doesn't wait for that and then just snaps to one minute ahead so you press it again to stop it and to reset it you press the bottom one and just snaps back so on um, i don't know what other chronographs are like but on i've got a lot of seikos so on the seikos when you do press the reset hand the second hand follows all the way around which is a nice feature and i know people love looking at that with this one and it just literally snaps back everything snaps back into place and it is a nice firm click the screw down very smooth no grittiness in there so it's well machined let's pop the crown out fully okay so once you do that the second hand does stop let's see the date change and it goes past 12. So you can see it's starting to move around 10 30. When you get there, it's moving, it's moving, it's moving. And yet, yeah, before you hit 12, it snapped into place. Nice. Click it in, screws down, no problem. So, so far, so good on the actual functionality of the watch. Um, and going around the build quality, Pagani I consistently producing these models. Um, so, they, they've got a method which clearly works and it produces consistent quality. And that's what you want in any watchmaker. Now, it doesn't matter if somebody says these are mass-produced, they're from China, you know, etc., etc. The The quality is there. So they have, you know, improved their quality standards a lot over the past few years. Um, you know, China as, um, as a manufacturing place. Let's move on to the bracelet. And this is a standard uh, Pagani design bracelet. You've got a lovely taper that goes from 20 to 18. You've got a high polish down the mid, down the center and brushed on the outsides. The brushing is decent, it's not the best. But you've got to bear in mind with, you know, the, the what you're paying for the actual watch. Um, compared to sort of 
compared to your mainstream brands. You do get a, a very, very good quality timepiece. And you, you can notice the watches have a slim profile and I absolutely, I like these clasps. I prefer them over the, those stamped um, clasps that you get on the cheaper watches. You've got your Pagani design logo and that high shine follows it through all the way down the clasp. End links, they are solid. Again, the difference of what end links make is if they're hollow, you get a bit of a rattle behind the watch and on the bracelet. The solid end links, obviously there's more material there and it makes it feel a lot more solid. I like the snap that this clasp has, you know, putting it on, taking it off. Obviously it is uh, a slight homage to the Rolex style bracelets and clasps but it doesn't have that much extension which i don't mind obviously for the money my only problem with this style of clasp uh, is the there is a like a diver's extension if you will but it's an actual uh, it is a task to sort of get it out you know uh, i tried earlier off camera but i'm not going to try it now you literally have to pull on it quite hard to the point where you think you might break it and these clasps, clasps have been known to uh, break but also same thing putting it back in um, is slightly tough but it gives you um, roughly a 5 mil extension you do have micro adjustments on the inside but again uh, it's a bit of a job's width to uh, Try and micro extend it. I've got experience with uh, a couple of these kind of bracelets, but I find I actually don't need the micro adjustment as much as I do with the other style of clasps where you've got the micro adjustments along here. Normally, I've got a six and a half inch wrist, so normally I need to um, remove four links in total and then adjust it one that one in, um, and that fits me perfectly. Still got a slight bit of play which I prefer. Case back. I do rate Pagani's case backs. Um, from all the case backs I've seen from the China watches, Pagani do have a nice case back. So whether it's the auto, you know, you've got the uh, exhibition back case backs. And even with this, it's it's tasteful, you know. Uh, it's nothing out there. It doesn't have crazy logos of turtles and fish and, uh, you know, all sorts. It's stick to their design which as a brand i really admire that about pagani i think that's quite good they stick to you know they've got their branding in the same places on all the paganis their brand they got the branding on their packaging which is good and the case back nice no sharpness pretty good level of detail and finishing on the actual case back this is what we have on the back what it says so you got stainless steel 100 meters water resistance um it's possible it can do more than 100 but you know uh stay within the recommended specifications the reason i say that because it does have screw down crowns so that i mean stick to 100 it, it just gives you uh, a better water resistance anyway so like i said there's a nice very nice snap to the clasp let's move on to some specifications so uh, on the pagani design um they what pagani do they have a stock picture of the watch and a lot of the time the list of specifications so i compared between the two and they give a tolerance of plus or minus one mil on the measurements and on the weight plus or minus two grams on the measurement side they are within tolerance so uh, pagani say the case is 12 millimeters thick i found it to be 11 millimeters the diameter they put it at 40 so across the 
bezel edge to edge i find it to be 39 the weight they've said 134 grams so expect 132 to 136 which is uh it's not heavy but it's a good weight it's solid and then 20 mil is the width of the actual bracelet the width of the logs is 26 millimeters and log to log is a 48 millimeter watch so it's great for um, the smaller to mid size um, wrist sizes out there it wears really nice it doesn't wear too small and it doesn't wear too large it actually fits bang on just right the goldilocks zone let's test uh, the sapphire crystal now as I have learned that uh, you can always trust what the Chinese suppliers say, it's always best to test it. So let's heat up the diamond selector too. So from when I read the instructions on this, uh, it said something about putting it up to the sort of room temperature now it's between 10 and 30 and depending on the carrots of the gem you're trying to test i don't understand that but i'm gonna go i don't know um from what i've seen people normally stick to four well let's put it at three and let's see what we get so sapphire test Yep, it's going up. So that would be sapphire. Now, from what I've seen, it doesn't have to go to red. That depends on where you put it. So if I put it at four, so I think that is a strong enough signal that it's sapphire. But I do have others where it flies straight up to red. So maybe if anyone knows anything else about this, Please put it in your comments. But I have seen others verify this as sapphire because it's gone up. Um, you see all the yellow bars. So if you put this up to five, nah, let's keep it down to four. Yeah. Yeah. So that is sapphire. Unless someone says different. Hang on, before, okay, let me actually get a watch. Let's be sure that I know it's Sapphire and just compare them. So I have my SKX, which is being modified with a genuine Sapphire. And let's keep it on three. Let's see what we get. Okay, so we've got four on here. Great. And we've got three. Oh, four. Cool. Yeah, so that is Sapphire. Loom. Um, let's do a loom shop. It's not going to be the best. And as you can see, it isn't the best. Even if you know, uh, the indices were larger and there was a larger surface area where the loom has been applied. I don't think it will be all that great. Um, that is something that I've noticed with Pagani. That the looms are not the best. But again, for what you, you know, what you're paying for, um, there are going to be some uh, compromises. And let's put it on the wrist. I actually didn't do wrist shots in the beginning, but I do get a few requests from time to time, so why not? So, for people out there with smaller wrists, it's actually perfect. It doesn't look out of place. Um, 
the thing is, you know, with, with bigger watches, you can get away with it. You know, if you wear it um, and you've got like a long sleeve shirt and if you've got um, like a jacket and it depends on your body size as well. Um, but on t-shirts, that's where you can really, you know, where it really stands out. If you've got a 43 um, mil watch or 45, then, you know, you do look kind of silly um, with a big watch on a skinny wrist. But this watch will wear perfectly. So to summarize um, on the watch, you know what, Pagani, we all know now, um, they actually are known for the quality now. They've got exceptional quality. And I say exceptional um, with respect to what the item costs. Obviously quality, a bit, you know, higher quality, higher costs. We know that. So for what you're paying for um, the actual watch, the quality is actually exceptional. Um, You've got great workmanship, the dials are great, you know, there's, you know, um, the main things which make up a watch and what watch enthusiasts like or, and when you're wearing it aesthetically as well, I've not seen anything um, bad from Pagani as of yet. Um, and the only things I've noticed so, so far with Pagani is there's a few things which um, they do lack in. One is bezel, not with this model, but they lack in the bezels and... Uh, it's just that stiffness on the clasp they have. And those are the two things which really um, come to mind. But they are uh, a lot better than a lot of the smaller uh, mushroom brands out there, a lot of the Chinese watches. Um, so you know what? It, it is actually a great watch. I am a fan of the dial and how it looks. And just to mention... Uh, on the bracelet you've got the screwing links which i believe is such a convenience uh, i think more bracelets should have them this whole pin thing uh not not everyone has the tool set so you know you're paying for someone to remove them but with this you can do this with a uh, small um screwdriver just by yourself and you don't need to take it to anybody or you, you don't need specialist tools to do it so thank you for watching as always subscribe, smash the like and put your thoughts in the comments below. I will leave a link for the store uh, in the description below. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you for watching.